Ay, yo no. Oh, so fat rip. Ooh la la. Oh, we need to get. Hey, go over here.
goddamn forklift. I wasn't even nowhere near that fucking crate. Stupid bitch. I gotta fucking fix it. Not even hit the mother. I got some good news. I got some good news. Yeah. So, so. That's a wonderful move. Barry, I don't know what's going on with your goddamn TikTok, but uh, he was on earlier. I know because it said he was. I tried to say hi. I tried to send you the little wavy, wavy hand. It said not sent. <laughs> I, I don't know what's going on with your TikTok, man. <laughs> but I got some good news anyways <laughs> so so um, you guys remember when I when I uh, said that I was going to be doing investment investing and that um Bailey was going to be helping me do the investing. Yeah, see, I get your messages, but I, I can't send you a message. Not let me do it. Yeah, it's not. It's not letting me do it. Look, I'll show you. There's. I'm gonna I'm gonna send you a thumbs up. Oh, it's since so it's the other one. It's the other one. The backup. The one that says backup. It says not since. That's the backup one. I should I should just remove that one. Um but your other one just works, yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah, I just got I just got that one from you. Just, uh, but anyways, I, I got I got some good news. So when I when I said, yeah, that one's that one that one works. Yeah, that one works, but the other one doesn't. Oh uh, yeah, I got it. Yeah, I got it. Hot sauce. Um. Yeah, I got I got that one. Let me turn my teeth. 
Um, so, so, uh, remember when I was saying that, uh, Oscar was supposed to have been helping me with doing investments and that she wanted all my information and all this shit to help me do investment. I believe she was trying to scam me. Um, like everybody else is saying that she was trying to scam me. The reason why I know, the reason why I know for sure that she was trying to scam me is you want to, do you want to, you want to see why? Do you want to see why I, I say that? Now you guys called it, I mean you, you and, you and uh, the other one called it that she was probably trying to scam me. Um, now I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you this. Now when, when, um, let me turn off that. So, so when I said something about, remember when I was saying that Bailey, I was trying to get Bailey, um, the, the, the other, uh, WWE superstar that I tried to get her to help me do investment. This, this was sent overnight on Saturday or Friday. And and I was supposed to have been doing investment. Supposed to be doing investment, right? This is this is a six thousand two hundred and thirty nine dollar check. That that's a that's a that's a six thousand a six thousand two hundred and ninety three cent check I received it today uh, through UPS or is it through UPS no with FedEx overnight yeah she 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 told me that she was going to help me invest I thought she was bullshitting you know what I mean? I thought she was bullshitting me. She said that she was gonna reach out to some investors to invest. I thought she was really bullshitting me. You know what? I, you know what I mean? Because Oscar was bullshitting me, right? Now, I've been talking to Bailey less time. I would say a couple of weeks, not even a couple of weeks. And and she asked me, do I invest in crypto or Bitcoin? And I was like, um, yeah, I, I have the cash app and everything. I want to, I want to invest. And, and I went and told her, I, I went and told her, uh, that Oscar, I told her Oscar was asking me all this fucking, inf this personal information, right? Well, she's like, oh, don't worry about, don't, don't worry about her. I'll help you. I'll help you invest. Now, when she said that she's going to help me invest, she meant when she said she was gonna do it. She was like, I, I just need your address and your phone number and, and this information, that information. Um, and then we had to do like cash app information, not my bank account information, not my social security, not, not any other personal information, just my name, my address, my phone number, where, I'm, where I live at, you know what I mean? And, and, and I thought she was bullshitting me. You know what I mean? I thought she was bullshitting me. Come to find out she wasn't bullshitting me. Like she was not bullshitting me. I was sitting here, I was sitting here and I was like, I'm gonna go check my mail. I'm gonna go check my mail. As soon as I opened my fucking door, it was stuck in the in the security gate. And I was like, no shit, what the hell is this? You know, cause she told me it was supposed to be here uh, Saturday or Sunday, right? She told me it was supposed to be here Saturday or Sunday. Well, I told her, I said, well, we'll, we'll see how everything goes once I get it, right? So, so, um, so evidently, evidently everything went well. Um, and it showed up at my doorstep. <laughs> showed up at my fucking doorstep. Now, 
the only thing the only thing with it is no I can't take it and go use it for a bunch of other bullshit um, I have to use it for investment is what it's for now I've already let her know that I have to pay my bank back because I'm you know overdrawn in my bank account so she already knows that but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see if I can get get some groceries pay my bank pay my bank that I owe the money back to and then um, and then get groceries get yeah get some you know get the regular get the regular groceries hundred and fifty dollars groceries you know like I always get um and then put the rest of it into the cash app but I have to wait until it clears first anything over ten thousand I have to go straight to a fucking bank this way I just take a picture of it and put it in there put it in my bank account these fucking things are just I might try to light them up At least I found one person that'll help me. She didn't ask me for no money, nothing. She didn't ask me for no money. She didn't ask me for nothing. All she asked me was for like, do I, do I, do I do Bitcoin? Do I invest? And I was like, I, I told her, I said, I, I, I'm thinking about investing. And she's like, she's like, yeah, uh, investing is good and stuff like that. She told me that she helps people invest. And I was like, are you for real? You help people invest? How do you do that? So she explained it to me. And really all she does, all she does is, you know, she, she makes sure that you have a cash app or coin base. So there's, there's coin base and there's, there's crypto and all that shit, right? So you, you got, you got crypto and you got coin base and you got Bitcoin. Now you go through Cash App, okay, you go through Cash App and everything, you set up your bank account and all that shit, you know, they they send you a card, you can make your own your own card. Like like a credit card, whatever. Let me show you. So this this is Bitcoin, right? This is a Bitcoin credit card. Now it's got my name and all the, the numbers on the back, like the expression date and, and all that shit. And, and you can put like des different designs and shit on it, right? Um, so it's like a credit card, just like a credit card. Um, so, so, um, yeah, she just asked me for my, ca my cash app information. And, and I sent it to her and she's like, okay, I'll help you invest in this, this, and this. You should get a check. You should get a check by Saturday or Sunday. And then you should be investing by Monday. This and this and that. Well, I bought some more stocks on the, on the stock market, right? Yeah, I bought some more stocks on the stock market. Um, and, uh. So I'm on the, I'm on the, um, I'm gonna put it in my bank, but I can't, I, me, I cannot have over $2,000 in my bank account because of social security disability. I can't have, I cannot have over $2,000 in my bank account at any given time. But once the money is in there and it clears through, it, it, it has to come out. Social Security office. Social Security finds out that I've got six grand sent in my fucking bank account. They're gonna be, they're gonna be asking me questions. What the fuck I'm doing? Because I I don't tell the Social Security office that I'm investing. I don't tell the food stamp office that I'm investing. I don't tell none of them. 
Because if they see that I'm investing in shit, they're gonna ask me, well, how the fuck am, what, what am I doing with my fucking money? Right? So, so the thing of it is, being on social security di disability, they they don't like people that have over two thousand dollars in their bank. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to get it cleared. I'm gonna have to get it cleared through the bank, right? And once it's cleared through the bank, I've gotta move it from my bank to Cash App. Now I did start up I did start up Coinbase. So Coinbase Coinbase is another uh, crypto Bitcoin type of shit you know what I mean um so that that's another that's another one so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do both of them I, I want to do I want to do both of them if I if I can do coin base crypt uh, Bitcoin and Bitcoin off of cash app and invest the way it invests the way um Bailey's you know telling me telling me or showing me how to do it oh man I'm gonna be making motherfucking I'll be making per week I should be making over fifty thousand uh, dollars either every every month or 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 every two weeks or some shit like that she explained to me you can get I can get paid from from there from doing big uh Bitcoin every week every friday or every every two weeks or every you know once a month um now right now i i've i've got it set up where i've i, I can transfer like three grand three uh three grand into there into my bank account um but yeah i'm, I'm seriously thinking going to go ahead and start investing Cause if I can invest and make money off of Bitcoin, off both of them, on both applications, oh man! You imagine how much fucking money I'd be raking in. Fuck Social Security. <laughs> like fuck Social Security. On, on on check this out. On top of that, check this out. On on top of that, I found I found out there 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 was there there's a uh, YouTube. Okay, YouTube has this new thing that that if you watch if you watch or you sign up and watch people's videos, content te like a content creator um tester or or whatever the fuck that shit is called, um you can get paid from YouTube, right? And and it's $25 it's $25 an hour. As long as you watch, as long as you watch about an hour, about an hour or so of uh, of videos from YouTube, it doesn't have to be from YouTube per se directly, but it it could be from YouTube, it could be Facebook, it be it could be Instagram, it can be um, it can be um. It could be TikTok. It could be any any type of any type of uh, videos that is approved through the YouTube YouTube uh, creator um, get paid thing. I signed up for it. I signed up for it. But the thing of it is, is they want you to deposit or, or make a payment of seventeen bucks. Make a, make a payment of seventeen bucks. And then you can see your first video. Um, you set your own hours. It's like a job. Um, and, and I was looking at that. And, and I was like, shit, if I can get paid $25 for each fucking video I watch, I'll watch videos all motherfucking day on YouTube or or, or, or whatever. And, and instead of working for an hour doing videos, I'll do motherfucking videos. I I'll do motherfucking videos all fucking day. Like I I'll do videos all motherfucking day. Um. So, I, I was thinking I was thinking about doing that, but I don't have seventeen bucks in my bank account. 
So soon as this check gets cleared, yeah, as soon as this check gets cleared, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna finish signing up for this shit, and I'm gonna do videos. It's called Impulse. Impulse.com or something like that. It's called Impulse.com. So you just you just watch videos. And then you give your opinion on those videos. You know, after you're done watching the videos. Um and you rate and you rate the video, right? You rate the video. And then, and then, you can set it up to get paid, I guess, at once a week, every two weeks, every, every month. Um, you can send it to PayPal or send it to your bank account or, um, whatever. I mean, I, I really don't know how it completely works out. I haven't completely, um done everything yet I just have to make the payment to get everything started now 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 that that would be that would be great to do because if I'm I'm if I'm doing two of those two of those fucking things to do um yeah if I'm doing two of those fucking things to make money off from plus doing plus doing videos I, I, I mean shit imagine how much money I'll make a month I mean just imagine how much money I can make I need to get these cleared so I can get that truck cleared I need bottles. I don't have no bottles. Yeah, I don't have no bottles at all, so I, I, I gotta do. I gotta get these cleared. That shit down. I pushed him. Nah, Oscar, Oscar is not helping, man. Oscar is no help, dude. Oscar is no fucking help, man. She, she's more like, uh, uh. Like, like, okay, check this out. When I told her, when I told her that, like, when, when I, when I told you guys that I was going to make up some bullshit about my bank and everything else. Now, I wasn't bullshitting about telling you guys how I, I made this shit up. Okay, now, 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 check this out. Okay, check this out. So, what I did is I went and, and I messaged her. I messaged, I messaged Oscar and told Oscar, hey, you know, this is what's going on with the food stamp, this, this, and this. Uh, can you help me? You know, and, and everything. Because she said she's going to help me, right? So, she stated she's going to help me. I'm like, okay, cool. All right. So, she goes, well, call the bank, this, this, and this. They'll give you a password, this, and this. I unlock my, I, I, I get into my bank account with my finger. You know what I mean? Um, of course, the password's backed up and shit like that. But... The thing of it is, is, she wanted my bank information, right? So I had to tell her that it's under investigation. The bank did not give me my password or change my password or this or this and this. I told her my bank card, my, my bank account card has been shut off and I can't use it. I can't do anything with it. In other words, I told her, in other words, I've got to get a new password. I got to do a new password. I got to get a new new bank card. I got to get a new everything, right? And I told her that maybe she would believe me, right? Come to find out, she actually, she actually believes me. So now she doesn't even ask me about my fucking bank account login. Because she keeps asking me, right? She keeps asking me for my bank to login. 
Now, she told me last week, she told me last week that today she would give me a thousand dollars to help me, right? So today I waited until she messaged me before I said anything to her. And I was like, well, today is Monday. Can you help me like you said you was? She replied, um, no, I can't. I'm busy. And I was like, let me, let me, all right, okay, okay. So I scrolled up, got the message that she said that she promised, you know, that she was going to give me a thousand dollars, right? To help me, right? I don't need a thousand dollars, but you know, she, she asked, she said that that's what she's going to send me, right? So I, I clipped it. And I sent it back to her. I said, this is what you told me last week, right? So why don't you, why don't you want to hold hold up to your word? First, you know, and, and I was like, was you ever going to help me at any point like you state? Or was you just wanting to get my login information so you can uh, do whatever the fuck you want in my bank account? You know what I mean? And she's like, no, it's no, it's, it's it's not like that, babe. It's not like that, babe. And I was like, yeah, I'm finding out you're 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 not, you know, because me personally, you tell a motherfucker, you you you, you tell a motherfucker you're gonna help somebody, and and you give them your word that you're gonna help somebody. You know what I mean? Where I'm from, your word your your word is what the fuck you mean. You know what I mean? And, and I tried to explain that shit to her. And I told her, I said, if you don't want to help me, don't tell me you're going to do something. And then don't do it. So I asked her. I asked her again. But she sent me a message. I like she didn't see what the fuck I sent her. She jumped off for about an hour thinking I was going to forget, right? So she, she jumped on there and she, she said hi to me again and everything else and I'm like hi you know whatever you know and then I had I had asked her you know are you going to help me like you state you was or are you too busy are you too busy to help somebody like you state that you was going to help me you know what she replied back to me I'm too busy that's what she said she said she was too busy I didn't say nothing. I, I I didn't say nothing to her. I, I didn't say nothing to her. I, I just fucking jumped off. I, I jumped off. I, I jumped off. I didn't say nothing else to her. You know what I mean? Because you know, uh, uh, what was it, a couple of weeks ago? She stated that she was gonna come down here. She was gonna come and visit me, right? And I asked her. I said, "Well, well, how do I know you're gonna come?" down here you know you, you're gonna come and visit me like you state you will she's like oh I, I'll give you a, I'll give you a two week notice before I show up and I'm like okay and I'm like well when do you plan on showing up oh before the end of the end of, end of the end of March well if you look at what today is what is today today's the 18th yeah, today's the 18th, right? So she said two weeks before before the end of the end of March, right? That would have been what yesterday, Saturday or something like that. She didn't even say nothing to me. She she didn't say nothing to me. And, and I and I asked her and I asked her again. I said, Are you actually gonna come and visit me like you state you was? Or, or or was that a bunch of BS? And I told her that. I said, was that a bunch of BS? Because at this point, at this point, I I'm thinking you fucking BSing me. You know what I mean? Like, like you're, you're BSing me. You know? And, and I told her that. Because if you look at it, check it out. She asked me if I have a printer. Yeah, she asked me if I had a printer, right? And I said, yeah, I got a printer. Why? She's like, well, I could print out a check for you. I can print out I, I can print out a check for you and I'll send it to you through the mail. 
And I was like, okay. And, and then and then she was like, well, if you got a printer, if you got a printer, then 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 I can just a uh, printer fax, you know, because my printer that I have is it's one of those ones you you lift up the lid, and you can scan things, and you can fax things. It, it's a three in one printer, right? You know what I mean? The three in one printer, so you can send and and and, and receive and, and copy and all that shit, right? on my printer that I had and I've, I've had this motherfucking printer I used to use my cell phone when I wanted to print out like pictures and shit of my kids and everything cuz those pictures all right there is all printed out from my printer right but what I did is I took my pictures from my phone and I printed them out I just did the Bluetooth connection to the printer and my phone connected to the printer and then printed out everything I ran out of ink but I had to buy some more ink so she tried to fully saying that she was going to do like that, do it that way. And I was like, I was like, uh, how does that shit work? You know, like playing, playing stupid. You know what I mean? Like, like I played stupid with her acting like I don't know what the fuck she's trying to do, you know? So, so she's already stated she's going to print, print a, a check out and send it to me through the mail. She's already stated that she can fax me a check. She stated that she was sending it through a uh, cash app. She stated that she can, uh, she can, uh, put it in my bank account if I give her my bank account login information. You know what I mean? Like she wants me to give her my login information so she can get into my bank and supposedly put money into my bank, right? I don't think so. I sent her I sent her my Cash App tag. The same one that I sent up put on my face on my on my YouTube channel is the same one that's on my Cash App, right? I sent that to her so she can be able to send me money if she wanted to, right? Which will be easy. You know what her excuse was? Uh, uh that's not safe. I'm afraid someone's gonna try to hack me. Do you know what I mean? And I'm like, I, I'm like, uh, it was your idea. It was your idea for the printer. It was your idea to send me through the mail. It was your idea to send the cash out. It was your idea for everything that you want to try to do right now. You know? And 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 I'm like, I'm like, nah, she ain't trying to scam me. Nah, she ain't trying to scam me. You know? in here believing believing that she's not trying you know and I'm like now now I mean cuz if you look at it if you look at it I got a six thousand dollar check sitting right here from 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 fucking Bailey right from Bailey through the investors that she said that she was gonna help me with right now she kept her word and she sent me a six thousand two hundred and something dollar check you know what I mean? She kept her word, unlike Oscar. You know what I mean? Unlike uh, unlike Oscar sitting here telling me a bunch of bullshit, how I need to give her my fucking login information. Nah, fucking definitely not. She says she supposedly helps people invest, or like he tried to take their investment. You know what I mean? Like if you if you go on my cash app and you see how much money I'm investing in right now, man, I'm investing in a lot. I've got four stocks. I, I, well, I got five stocks, matter of fact. Yeah, I've got five. I, I've got five stocks. My bitcoins up to like four dollars and some odd cents right now. I've got my investment. My investment that I've invested in all five of these stocks. Which I put a dollar into each one of them. I've got at least just in the five stocks or four stocks by itself. I've got about seven dollars in, in stocks right now that I'm investing. And then on top of the four dollars that I have just in Bitcoin. I'm looking at ten dollars investment right now. You know what I mean? And, and, and I didn't have no help. I didn't have no help from, from nobody doing it. You know what I mean? I, I did that myself. But, 
But my thing is, is I couldn't figure out when when do you sell or when do you buy. So I was watching a bunch of videos, right? Now when the motherfucker gets down into the red and it drops all the way down in the red, that's when you want to buy. And then once it gets all the way to like over 70 or 80,000, then you want to sell and you make a you make fuck a lot of money off it. Um that's that's how that's that's what I was watching on videos. So 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 yeah, I'm not only just doing cash app, I'm doing uh Coinbase too. Coinbase also does Coinbase also does um Bitcoin. So not only not only am I doing one Bitcoin in, in Cash App, I'm doing point base that also does Bitcoin. So I'm making twice as much as off both of them at the same time, plus the other four that I'm that I'm in stocking. So I've got like ten stocks that I'm gonna be that I'm investing. And this check here, this check here, um Bailey, well actually her real name is Pam. Um, she, she stated to put, she told me to put 4,200, put 4,200 into both of them, like split them up into two of them and, and both of them and, and, and invest in both of them and, and all, all 10 of them. And then that way I can get the return and I should be getting paid every week. I should be getting paid every week. As long as, as long as the stock market is doing good. As long as it's doing good, then then I should be in, I should be making a lot off of ten stocks, and they're both linked to my they're both linked to my bank account. So it's, it's straight like I can cash out, I can hold, I can sell, I can add if I want to or not add, I can buy, I can you know whatever. So yeah, I'm really I'm really into it. Look, it, it, it's so bad. It's so bad. I'm over here checking my fucking cash up every hour almost every hour all day long Like I sit up all night long looking at my fucking cash up I'm looking at the Bitcoin just getting higher and higher and higher and all my stocks just getting higher and higher <laughs> Like that's that's how that's how invested I am. I don't even fucking sleep too busy work looking at fucking watching the money money sign go cha ching cha ching <laughs> yeah so I'm, I'm all into it I don't know why I bought so many of these motherfucking pallets I've got over 3,000 of these I've got over 3,000 of these white bags <laughs> So instead of getting like 600 like I did last time, I got three, I got 3,000. Cost me, it cost me, um, 52,000. I gotta get this one off. I gotta get this one off. Get off. Damn it. I don't know what I'm gonna do with the rest of those fucking trucks up there. I, I need to clear. I need to clear those trucks so I can. So I can get um. So I can get some more. Uh, not some more. I need to get bottles. I got no bottles. I got three tanks ready to go right now, man. Yeah, I got. I got three tanks ready to go right now. Like all three of these tanks are ready to go. Yeah, Oscar, yeah. Can't get over this palette. All the way, palette. Um Look, I'll show you. Check this out. 
I haven't even got my employees here yet. Oh, I got two of them ready. This one's almost done. Could have been. Oh, it's got 138 left in there. I I I bought I I bought the fucking yeah I bought the I bought the things now I need to get the bottles I need to empty I need to empty this middle trailer here and see either they're gonna give me another trailer of whites either they're gonna give me another trailer of whites or or um. What the fuck's going to go on? Hoping they don't give me no more whites. If they do, I, I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do with them. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. Have any more fucking room? <laughs> I don't have any more room to put them. Now, I was playing the other game and hey, it pissed me off, so I got off. And then I've just been sitting here watching uh, Grey's Anatomy. Yeah, I'm watching Grey's Anatomy. I love nurses in uniform. <laughs> I, I love. I love nurses in uniform. <laughs> and bam! Oh, that one's got a half half in there too. That one's got a half in there. I can empty both of these. Fucking game, the fucking game keeps um, crashing on me. That yeah, a game keeps crashing on me. Every every once in a while, the that damn thing crashes. On me. I have to save it every. Night. Is. I wonder if it's just too much shit, like too much pallets in here. That uh, like too much, too much pallets. That's what I'm thinking. There, I got, I got too much pallets. We're gonna have to order uh three, three thousand bottles. I'm thinking that's how many that. Another truck yet. That may be it. If that's it, I go ahead and order the bottles now. Yeah, cause we're gonna, we're gonna need these bottles. I haven't even got my fucking employees in here. Yeah, I haven't even got the fucking employees in here. Those bottles.
I get 3,000 bottles. It's gonna be fucking fun, right? Here. I got 3,000 bottles and 3,000. I don't think I needed that that many. Those white. I bought them. So if you hold the 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 C T R L the left one and then click this here Take my I think it gives you like ten at a time or twenty at a time or some shit like that. Take but if you move it off stuff. that white box you gotta tap it. This three thousand bottles Take my stuff. Take my stuff. Freaking. I'm gonna get them. <laughs> them. Oh yeah, that most definitely. I mean, you got three tanks. You got three tanks. You got okay. You got three thousand, three thousand of these white, these white bags, right? Or I mean, three thousand. Um. You got about three thousand of these, and then you got three thousand of those bottles, and then you got. Then, then look, I still got a whole fucking rack of green. Like this is a whole truck of green right here. Yeah, right here. This is a, this is a truck. This is a truck and like four extra pallets, or two extra pallets. So, so there's a truck of green, and and then you got. I think that was my. I had all four, all, all four of these stacked with 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 white ones, white pallets. Um, cleared the end out. I cleared the end out twice. Cleared the second one out twice. Cleared this one out here, this number one stall. I cleared this one out three times. So about about six about six trucks, man. So about six trucks of the white. And, and probably about six trucks of the of the bottles, and then I got a whole shitload of crates. <laughs> then I got a shitload of crates, <gasps> and and I haven't even got the fucking employees. I haven't even got the employees out yet. I get these bottles. I don't want this guy to. <laughs> And fuck with the bottles. That this. I'll get this truck in. Or I get, or I get um, the. Imp Yeah, that's right. I'm taking a leak. Enjoying the show. Hm? Yeah, that's a shitload of beer. A shitload of beer. I had like a hundred and fifty thousand dollars, and I I spent that. Yeah, I spent that. That's already gone.
150,000 on top of on top of the white ones in the in, in the bottles I mean I spend about 50 52 54,000 somewhere around there on the, on the white one I don't know how much I just spent on the bottle I don't know how much I spent on the bottle My stuff. This motherfucker just throwing the bags. Take my stuff. Da -da -da. This game is actually fun once you figure out how to play this motherfucker. Yeah, once once you figure out how to 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 figure it all out. I mean, it's a motherfucker to move all this. Shit. Actually. Fun. Waiting for tomorrow. Tomorrow's Tuesday. I racing's got a different. We'll be on a different racetrack tomorrow. Or yeah, we'll be on a different racetrack tomorrow. Today's Monday, right? Yeah. So every Tuesday is a new track. So it'll be. It'll be uh, season fourteen, week two. I can't believe I fucking went from a, a fucking 298 to a, a 255, dude. And that shit pissed me off. Stupid fucking drivers, man. I wish there'd be some kind of way that they can fix, fix that shit on the iRacing. Like I was watching this dude's, I was watching this dude's video on on um, on Twitch, right? He was in there doing truck race, right? And and, and I seen him in there racing. I seen this one guy in there racing, so I went in there, and said hi to the guy, you know, and asked him, asked him how many yellows, how many cautions has happened so far. And I seen there was only like 20 laps or whatever that, you know, that was already raced, that was already run. So I asked him, I said, how many, how, how many cautions have you guys had? You know, and, and then, and then I tried to explain to the guy that if you don't want to play, if you don't want to be in lobbies with people that crash people out, you can just block them. You can block them and you won't ever see them again. Well, the, the, now the, the guy was all for it, right? He was all for it. And then, like, he had a 4X, right? He had a 4X. Someone hit him from behind. They gave him a, a 8X, right? So they gave him an 8X. And I was like, well, if you want to fix that issue, after the race, just go to his profile and fucking block him, right? Block the guy that ran into him on purpose. 
I mean, not all, not all of them are, are necessary on purpose, but to avoid the idiots that are doing those type of things, you know, you can go in there and block them, right? Well, um, he tried to tell me, he tried to tell me, oh, it doesn't work that way. And I was like, uh, yeah, it does work that way. Just go to his profile and block him, you know? And I tried to explain to him how to do it. Well, I was like, I was like, well, how long have you been on iRacing? You know what I mean? I asked him, how long has he been on iRacing, right? He informed me that he's been on iRacing 10 years. He's been on iRacing 10 fucking years, dude. And I was like, so you spend 120 bucks every year to be on here so you can get crashed out by stupid people, right? And I told him that. And he's like, he's like, uh, he's like, uh, yeah, people crash all the time. And I was like, yeah, but... I mean, this is ridiculous what's going on. Um, you know, and I try to help the guy, right? So, what I didn't notice, hey, what I didn't notice is this motherfucker, this motherfucker was, was going, hey, was going into the pits, right? He'll go into the pits and he was doing 50, he was doing 55 in the pits, right? And, and and I seen him do it like six times or three times that he went into the pits. Every time he went into the pits, he was speeding, right? Well, two other people came on the radio, came on the microphone and told him, Hey, there's a speed limit. You need to stop speeding in, in the pits because he kept getting black flagged. Every time he'll go in the pits for repairs, he'll get black flagged, right? So they was trying to help him and tell him that he needed to stop speeding in the pits. They informed him that the speed limit is 35 on 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 the pits, right? Or in the pits. He goes and tells them, no, it's not. There's no speed limit. I go and type in the chat saying, yes, there is a 35 speed limit. You know what this motherfucker did? You know what this motherfucker did? He goes and puts me in timeout for five minutes, dude. He puts me in timeout for five minutes because I told this motherfucker that there's a speed limit and that those two guys that just told him that there's a speed limit in there, you know what I mean? And so, so I go to look up this fucking dude's name, right? So I jump into iRacing, right? I, I jump into iRacing to go watch the race that he's doing in the truck race at Bristol, right? Come to find out, it's a hosted race. So he, he, he's in there with a bunch of, it's a hosted race. So I can't find his fucking name, right? So when my time was up from being a timeout, like a little child, you know, I told that dude, I said, I I if I could find your fucking name on, on iRacing, yeah, I will right. fucking block you I'm right now. Enjoy You've been on iRacing for 10 years and you're, you're iRacing, you're, you're licensed because he showed everybody his license. And shit. I said, dude, I would have fucking blocked your ass. I would have blocked him a long fucking time. That dude, that dude left the race with a 20X. He left with a 20X and he blamed it on everybody else. But we all saw him crash people. And, and, and right before, right before he, uh, Sent it to a, another person to go watch. So he was raiding. He was raiding somebody else, right? So all the people that's watching him was watching somebody else. 
because he was getting off. I put on there, I said, I, I'm glad you got a, tw a 20X. Maybe you lose your fucking A license. I, say, I, I put that on there. Not only, not only did I put that on there, I re fucking reported his channel for putting me in timeout. Because he didn't have no right to put me in timeout. So I went in there and reported his fucking channel. For the shit that... You know what I mean? Because I was being nice to the guy. And tried to explain the guy, you know, hey, this is what you can do. You fix the issues, you know, this and this and this. He wanted to be a dick and fucking put me in timeout, so... I said, fuck him. And, and, and I've watched his channel a few times. And I mean, I've watched his channel a few times. I've never said anything in it, but except for when the other, you know, on Friday. But, but yeah, I was trying to be nice to the motherfucker. He wanted to be a dick, so. I went in there and reported his bitch ass. Fuck with me. Fuck with me, you, you'd be taking a vacation. <laughs> and he, he seemed to be a little slow anyways. Like, don't get me wrong. I mean, dude, the Duke, he's okay driver, but yeah, he was just stupid. Everybody in his chat was telling him there's a speed limit. Everybody in the race was telling him there's a speed limit. He was like, you know, whatever. So, I mean, that's cool. I mean, he wants to be a dick. I mean, that's fine. Fuck helping you. Keep getting those 20 X's. It's all right. <laughs> Keep getting those 20 X's. <laughs> he was in a race with me. I would have fucking blocked your profile. I'm gonna empty this truck and then I'm gonna go get the employees. I have to open the I have to open that door. Fuckers throwing the damn bags everywhere. Go beat his ass with this. That truck. Hmm. Yeah, so, so I'm hoping, I'm hoping she comes to town. She's in California. She's in training. She's got a, she's got a wrestling, she's got a match tonight. Bailey does. I'm not. I, I'm not worried about Oscar. <laughs> check this out. Go check this out. I fucking sense. I sense. I I sense Oscar a picture of my cock. <laughs> I sent. I I sent Oscar a picture of my cock. <laughs> And you and you know what her, you know what her. Well, the conversation actually, this is how the conversation, uh, uh started. Okay, this is this is how, the, this is how the, the conversation. Let me let me get the employees. Um. So the conversation started out like this. I got high. I got high off my ass. And I, I sent her a message. Right. I sent Enjoy I sent Oscar a message, and, and I told her told her that told her that I I had a I told her that I had uh woke up with a Woody right that I told her I woke up with a Woody, which I, I never went to sleep. I just wanted to see what she was gonna say right. 
And so, so, I wanted to see what she was going to say. And so, she sent me a message that, oh, really? Let me see. And I was like, what? No, I was just joking with her. I was just joking with her, you know what I mean? I, I didn't wake up with a woolly. I just wanted to see what she was going to say, you know? I want to see I want to see how much of a how much, you know, of a pervert she was or or, or whatever, you know? So so I was asking her, well, well, you know, when when's the last time you you had sex, right? So I'm asking her all these sexual questions, right? I'm asking her all these sexual so so my conversations getting into the sexual sexual shit, right with her <laughs> you know so so I'm having this conversation with her. talking about my wood you know my wood you know having wet dreams and all this and all that shit <laughs> which, which I'm not I just wanted to see what the fuck she was gonna say you know what I mean just to see, just to see what her reaction was to my conversation. See if she felt uncomfortable. Then she did. Un if she did, then then she can tell me. You know what I mean? So so so. I, I I'm like getting all pervertish type over here. You know what I mean? Talking all kind of. You know, nasty and shit with her and shit like that. Telling her I'm gonna eat her pussy, suck her tits, and pull her hair, and you know all this, you know, fucking sexual shit, right? Um, you know, and, and getting all dirty with her. You know what I mean? So, so, so I getting all dirty with her and shit, going into the description of what I'm gonna do and to her and this and this. And so she she's liking it, you know what I mean? She's liking it, right? So so she's liking it, right? So at this point, she's all wet and everything. Like she she's over here telling me, oh oh baby, I'm all wet and 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 and, and I'm playing with my dildo or my vibrator is what she said. I'm playing with her vibrator and all this and all that and all this shit, you know what I mean? And I'm like, I'm sitting here. Playing this game, telling her this shit, right? Just to see what the fuck she's gonna say, right? You know, so so I'm trying trying to see how far I can take it, you know. So I'm I'm getting all nasty with her, telling her all nasty shit, you know. Told her I got a fucking monster of a penis, right? Pull her, I got a fucking monster of a penis, right? Pull her, I got like a 10 inch fucking, almost a 10 inch penis, right? Is what I told her, right? So she goes, she goes, really? Nah, no, you, 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 okay. you ain't that okay, big yeah. and all this and all that. I'm like, oh, okay, whatever. You don't believe me? All right, it's cool. You know, it's cool. You don't believe me? So, so I was waiting for her to say, send it to me. Send me a picture. I was waiting for her to say it. You know what I mean? So so I go I was like, no, I'm not gonna do I'm not gonna do that, you know? I'm not gonna do that. Then I was like, well she wanna fucking tease me and play with me, so you know what I mean? I was like, okay, she wants to play that game, I'll play that game. You know, so I'm gonna play that game with her, you know? So, so I go and fucking <laughs> I fucking go with send her a picture of my cock, right? You know what her first response was? That ain't you. That that that's not your cock. I said, yeah, the fuck that is my cock. No bullshit. You know what I mean? Like I whipped it out and everything, got it hard, fucking took a picture of it and sent it to her, just to see her fucking reaction, right? Just to see her fucking reaction. Fucking, she comes back and she goes. Oh, oh, I, damn, that's big. I, I, I wanna, I, I was like, I was like, uh, what you wanna do with this? What, what are you gonna do with this? 
You know what her response was? She said she has sucked that motherfucker in the balls too. And I was like, whoa, shit. And I was like, oh yeah. I like that shit. You know, I, I love getting sucked off, you know. I, you know, I'm sitting here playing my, playing this game, you know. Just playing this game. And, and <laughs> fucking... So she's all talking all, you know, trying to talk all dirty and shit with me. And it so fucking um she's like, no, nah, that ain't you. That is no I said, yeah, I'm no bullshit, that's me. That's all me. She's like she's like, nah, that, that's bullshit. I like, no, that's not bullshit. That's real. That's a real penis. You know what I mean? And she fucking goes and I asked her, I said, so, so what do you think about this? What, what would you do with this? She, she replies back to me. She goes, I asked her, I said, is this the biggest you ever seen in your life? She goes, she said, no. I've seen bigger. <laughs> I'm like, oh, you fucking bitch. You know what I mean? Like, you fucking bitch. You want to play that fucking game. <laughs> you know? And so, <laughs> fucking... Um, so, so she, uh, she didn't believe it was me, right? And I was like, no, that's me. That's all me, you know? Um, and she goes, she replies to me. Oh, and says something about she, she, she uh, loves my dick. Like, that's what, like, I was like, so, so what about me? Uh, uh, you know, what about me? He's like, um, you know what I mean? Like, you got some women that fall in love with people's penises, right? And I've had my ex-wife, my ex-wife fell in love with it. My ex-girlfriend fell in love with it. And, and, and all the other girls that I fucked l loves it, right? I had a girl driving from Phoenix. I had a girl that dri used to drive from Phoenix to come out here and see me. Twice, twice or three times a month, and um, she had like four kids. She was fixed and everything. She couldn't have kids or whatever after she got fixed, which I, I didn't give a fuck. I wasn't trying to have kids anyway. Um, but I used to bang the shit out of her. <laughs> but, but I mean, like. She didn't even, like, she didn't even give a fuck about me. She's like, fuck me. She, she, she likes the penis. You know what I mean? I'm like, oh, okay. I was just trying to see what she's going to And then since then, it's just like, she ain't, she ain't said nothing. She ain't said, she ain't really. I, I didn't, I, I didn't want to be, I just wanted to see what she was going to say. I wasn't expecting her to say send it to me. <laughs> Sick shit, yeah. But yeah, she's she seen it. She's like, oh, I love it. <laughs> like, what the fuck? What did I get myself into? <laughs> Fucking... Yeah, that's the conversation I had with her. I haven't had a really conversation not as ever since. Come on, get off. We got two more to put in there, and then we have to. Then we have to get another one. Um, what is it? Two more, right? Yeah. No, one more. Let me get this other trailer out. Six shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I'm just just being honest. <laughs> 
Just being honest. I just wanted to see what she was gonna say. Wasn't necessarily trying to actually send it to her. But when she said send it, I said, fuck it, okay. <laughs> I said, fuck it, alright. For 41 year old chick. Because I, I asked her, I said, when's the last time you had sex? She said she ain't had sex in two years. And I was like, no way. How the fuck is a, a, a WWE wrestler like you not have sex? Or, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. And the crazy, the craziest thing about it is, the craziest thing about it is, I thought she was worthwhile of giving a shot. Now Bailey, on the other hand, Bailey, on the other hand, I got more of a shot with her than anything else. That's a lot of beer. <laughs> a lot of beer. I'm thinking if I send this truck out, there's gonna be another there's gonna be another beer. Another thing of beer. What do you think? Yeah, if I send this one out, I guarantee it's going to be almost empty. We're going to have to empty that trailer. I'm hoping that the empty truck shows up, not the full truck. See what's gonna pop up here. Bottles? Oh, it's an empty one. Okay. I thought I thought they was gonna send me a fucking uh uh. A truck for the bottles. I got so excited when I seen that in the mail. Like, shit, I gotta come on live. <laughs> I got so excited. I still need to. I still need to take care of it. Yeah, I gotta take a picture of it. Take a picture. So it can get deposited. 
But I'm not going no fucking bank. My bank is like seven miles from me. I'm not walking the fuck seven miles. <laughs> like I'm fucking 50 bucks negative in my bank account right now. Because I ordered some fucking groceries. Yeah, I ordered some groceries. That put me negative in my bank account. I got some orange juice and some milk and some bread and um you know, like basic shit, you know. But I mean it costs money to do so. Got some candy and some the the I got me a soda. This is a soda. It's a root beer. It's a root beer. I got like six of these like a dollar dollar uh, a dollar something I got six of those instead of getting the cans I got like six of those uh, they don't taste all that great but this is soda right <laughs> like I said I, I'm, I'm a cheap motherfucker man yeah, I'm, I'm a cheap motherfucker man I, I'll go cheap on everything if I have to I don't give a fuck Dude, I'll get the cheapest bread, the cheapest cheese, the cheapest everything if I could. Cause I didn't want to go, I didn't want to go negative in my bank account. I didn't, I didn't want to go negative. But I don't have enough food in there. I mean, I got a shitload of cans. Like I got a whole bunch of diced tomatoes. And Shitload of rice and shitload of fucking look. Check it out. I got seven boxes of Cheerios, the big boxes, and, and I, I didn't, I, I didn't buy them. But the the church, the church that gives me, the the church that gives me, um, that that gives me um two boxes every every week. You know what I mean? They they gave me they gave me the cereal every week, right? They gave me this like all the cans, all the cans, the beans, all, all this shit that's in the pantry is from what they gave me, right? So so I just been I just been holding on to it because I didn't know if they were ever gonna come in handy. And they actually do come in handy because um, when you don't got enough food in there, you got to eat fucking cans. Like when you eat cans and shit, you know, like green beans and corn and diced tomatoes and like I got enough shit in there to make fucking stew with. <laughs> ain't, ain't got no, ain't got no meat, ain't got no stew meat or nothing like that, but I, I got shit in there to make stew. I just don't have the meat. <laughs> like I got, I got like fucking ten bags of rice, ten bags of rice, uh, uh, like fifty cans of fucking diced tomatoes. Um, like I got all the canned shit. You know, I got like ten tons of fucking peanut peanut butter. You know what I mean? I can make peanut butter cookies. Like, no bullshit, I can make peanut butter cookies with how much peanut butter I got. <laughs> um, yeah, that, that's a, that's a lot of peanut butter. That, that's, put it this way, I, I think, I think I have like 10, 10 jars of peanut butter. Like ten jars of peanut butter, you know those big old things of quicker oat oatmeal. I've got four of those sitting in there, brand new. What the fuck am I gonna do with all that oatmeal? <laughs> like what the fuck am I gonna do with all the, that fucking oatmeal? Do you know what I mean? Like there's there's a lot of breakfast shit in there, like oatmeal, rice, beans, corn, green beans. Um, 
diced tomatoes. Um, there's a spicy diced tomatoes too. They got the spicy ones, and they got the regular ones, and then they got some other ones in there. Bunch of fruit cocktail, a bunch of fruit cocktail shit. Um, which I I'm not a fruit cocktail motherfucker, so. And there's, I mean, there's all kinds of shit in there that other people will love to eat. But. Nah, not me. <laughs> not me. If I get desperate enough to eat it, then. Then, yeah, I, I, I'll eat it. <laughs> I just kept it. I kept it. Keep it around for my kids. Well, this one's almost. It. Got another trailer? Oh. oh, I think we got another trailer here. The other one. Running out of space. <laughs> I'm running out of space. Yeah, I'm running out of space, man.
Yeah, I think it's got one. Picture. I didn't do this. Well, I put it straight into the anchor up, straight into it. That's that.
this transfer. Fucking with Simple. I don't understand. I don't understand how people are so fucking ignorant. Ask somebody a simple fucking question, man. They can't answer a simple fucking question. How fucking hard is it to answer a simple fucking question? Hello? Got me on. Ah, they're sitting here telling me uh, you can sit here and go. You can deposit with with taking a picture. Okay, I tried to deposit with taking a picture, and they sit here and tell me that my bank won't let me go over one thousand five hundred by taking a picture and depositing it into my bank account. Well, how the fuck are you supposed to put a six thousand two hundred dollar check into your fucking bank account? They tell me I have to go to my bank, my bank, and and put it in my bank. Okay. Um. The question is, there's not a fucking bank in New Mexico for me to go to. So how the fuck do I deposit in it? I ask, can I go to any ATM machine to do it? Oh no, you can't do it at any ATM machine. You got to do it at the at the at the bank. Where you where you're banked with? Stupid. Ask a simple fucking question. I get a, I get a fucking run around bullshit. All I wanted to know was a simple was a simple fucking question. Not a run around bullshit. Forty five minutes on the goddamn phone. Be told told me bullshit. Give me the fucking run around. Stupid ass bitch, don't understand English. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I, I asked her, can I go to any bank, any, any bank that has an ATM machine so I can deposit it because it's over, over the amount of 1,500. She said, no, it has to be at the bank 
that I'm banking with. My fucking bank is like eight miles away. I'm not walking motherfucking eight miles. Stupid. Got to check that I can't fucking do nothing with. Got to check that I can't do nothing with. Hello? Yeah, cause I'm not gonna sit. I'm not gonna sit here and, and, and get dressed and walk to the fucking walk to an ATM machine and walk to a bank that's close. I mean, if the Wells Fargo's right five minutes away, I can walk there and, and and go to the ATM machine there. But she's sitting here telling me I can't do that. I have to go to my bank and put it into the ATM machine at my bank. What is the fucking difference? ATM machine is an ATM machine. The fuck. the fucking difference about it. Now she want to sit up in here and keep talking and keep talking. Bitch, transfer me. Fuck, man. I mean, it's easy questions. Easy questions. Yes, no. Want to go on, go on and explain yourself and explaining yourself. If I would have known that I couldn't go to any AT machine, I, I should have just had them fucking just direct deposit into my fucking account. <sighs> fucking bullshit, dude. Never in my life heard, heard, heard some crap. And I, then I ask him, well, can you take the limit off of there? No, no, no. That's a set limit of, of trying to deposit into your bank with your, with your phone app. So you can't deposit more than uh, $1,500 into your bank account at any bank account. M more than more than $1,500. No, it has to be it has to be that or less. So I got a $6,000 check that I can't fucking do anything with. I have to go literally to a fucking bank. To to my bank. Which there isn't one in the state of New Mexico. Great. That's just wonderful. Turn no shit like that. <sighs> Simple questions, they turn it into a fucking argument. I wish they had fucking answered the goddamn phone. Fuck, man. Eat their fucking meat.
Ay.
Why does, why does things have to be so fucking different? Simple question. Customer service. Customer service. Customer service. Oh my god, man, just send me the fucking customer service. Fuck. Reason why people hate motherfucking bitch. I don't understand how why is it so hard to simple I just I, I just want to be able to ask a simple question they give me a simple answer yes or no They always want to add extra crap into the into the answer that you're looking for. Like, fuck. If I ask a simple question, give me a simple answer. The reason why I don't like fucking. It. I do not have an account with you. I have a question. Um, I need.
don't understand. I don't, I don't understand. I really fucking don't understand. Don't. Don't fucking understand. I don't understand how I can't go to a fucking bank and use their fucking ATM machine or go to any fucking ATM machine and do and put a fucking check into it and deposit the motherfucker into my bank account. I call Wells Fargo and Wells Fargo tells me I can't use their fucking ATM machines or use their fucking bank. I that is why I call you. If I knew it was gonna take this be this much fucking hassle, I would have never done the bullshit in the fucking first place. I don't like fucking paper bullshit. I don't like dealing with stupid ass checks. That's why I don't own no fucking checkbook. Fuck checks. Fucking waste of my fucking time, dude. Been on the motherfucking hour, been on the phone two fucking hours trying to figure out how to fucking I don't wanna get dressed and be walking the fuck around everywhere trying to figure out where to fucking deposit this motherfucker. Fuck you don't understand, people. God damn. How much I'm trying to explain to her that the fucking ATM machine at these fucking banks ain't gonna let me fucking do it. She's telling me go to the gas station. Go to my bank. My bank is in fucking Texas. I'm not gonna go to fucking Texas to deposit a fucking check. I would have known that you're gonna send me this type of fucking money and my bank is not gonna accept to take a picture uh, over 1,500, I should have just told them to fucking just fucking send it in checks. Send it in checks so I can fucking deposit it and in fucking 1,500s instead of fucking sending me $6,000 fucking check. I'll deal, I'll deal, I'll deal with it tomorrow. I'm, I'm, I'm fucking pissing me off with this bullshit. Fucking gonna be five o'clock in the afternoon. You think I'm gonna go walk around the motherfucking street with a six thousand dollar fucking check in my fucking pocket? You got your motherfucking mind. You got your fucking mind. You think I'm gonna go walk the goddamn streets, go to a fucking gas station, to put a fucking check in the fucking bank, and, and, and to my fucking shit. I'll do it to motherfucking tomorrow, dude. Fuck the bullshit. Fucking aggravating the fuck out of me. I would have known it was gonna be this much of a fucking hassle. I would have gave you my goddamn routing number so you can put it in my goddamn bank. No! You'd have told me that motherfucking it, it, it couldn't take fucking more than 1,500. <sighs> Next time somebody fucking say I don't fuck that's why I don't fuck with goddamn fucking checks. I don't fuck with checks because there's something simple fucking reason. I don't like dealing with stupid ass checks. I don't. I don't like dealing with fucking checks. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't like dealing with checks. I don't like dealing with people. I deal everything with fucking cash. But nobody wants to take cash. <laughs> I'm not going to the gas station. Fuck that shit. People don't understand how fucking aggravated I get, stupid ass. 
on the stand. We'll walk to the gas station and try at the ATM machine. My bank said it's not going to take it if you try to do it at the ATM. Is that much fucking with, with, with that kind of a check to put into your bank, you fucking ATM. Well, Fargo just told me the same goddamn thing. He, they don't believe they don't believe that any no no check that you can just walk into a walk into a t machine and try to put it into a t machine i don't have the, the the fucking patience to be sitting there trying to put in fucking bullshit into a fucking a t m machine just so i can deposit deposit a motherfucking shit in there to find out if it works or not she sat here and told me it, it, it's supposed to work you go to a gas station or go to a t m machine and, and just put it into the ATM machine and do it and it's supposed to work. That's what I was told Fuck I might as well just take the motherfucker and cash the motherfucker Cash the motherfucker and then and then try to put it Try try to put it into my bank some kind of way Because because this shit here is not working. I mean it's not this shit here Oh, go here, go there, do this, do that. That's, that's just not working. I'm, I'm not. Fucking, they're, they're going to be closing. Fucking, everything's going to be closing 30 minutes anyway. Don't fucking understand. They, they just don't understand. They just sit here and tell me, oh, go do this and go do that and see if it works. Are hey, you talking to the wrong motherfucking person? Just go see if it works. If it works, it it works. You tell me the motherfucker works. Don't send me on a fucking wild goose chase. You know what I mean? Because I'm not that type of motherfucking person. If I would have known that I couldn't take a goddamn picture with my fucking phone and do it like that, then I would have told then I would have told them to break it down. But they didn't. They didn't ask no questions of doing so. They just say, okay, we'll just send you one big old lump sum and, and that would be it. You could have just broken the motherfucker down and then done it that way where I can be able to put it, take a picture of it and put it in there. And then that way I can take a picture, put it in there, it'll, it'll go through for 1500 1, It would have gone through, it would have been great. And then I would have had to wait, I would have to wait until next month. At the beginning of the next month, take another picture of another one of 1,500 and, and done it that way. Because that's the limit of the taking the picture with your cell phone. Now, like I asked them, like I asked them, can I go to an ATM machine and try to deposit into the ATM machine? They told me that big of a check would not probably work. And I'm trying to tell her this. But she keeps insisting on fucking going. I I'm not. No. Either, either.
Ah, she's fucking paperweight. Fucking paper. Bank, any fucking bank and try to transfer it or deposit it or fucking. Yeah, she just told me. Well, you can check your your bank app and for the mobile for the mobile deposit limit. And I just told her the mobile deposit limit. Now, now what is she gonna say? What is she gonna tell me? The check's too big. It's not gonna do it. I tried to tell her that before. I tried to tell her that before, and evidently, fuck is it? Women I mean, don't understand shit nowadays. Don't they don't understand? What the fuck you say? They they think you're just full of shit. You think I'm just wasting my goddamn breath? Don't try it. Yes. The reason why I try to call her to tell, to tell her I hate fucking texting, dude. I really do. I hate texting. I'd rather be able to talk to you on the phone and tell you what the fuck's going on because it's more easier than trying to sit here and text you. But she's at work. Can't do nothing. She's at work. Like it's four four thirty it's four forty. Why can't you just why can't you just step away? You're not doing anything. Evidently you're not doing anything. Answer the goddamn phone so I can tell you what the fuck's going on, so you can understand, so you can stop fucking texting me with bullshit. All you're doing is pissing me off. Then I sit here and ask my I sit here and ask my bank, well, this type of check, uh, with this amount uh, they should have just they, they told me well they should have just deposited into your bank using your routing number oh okay so I'm supposed to just give random ass people my fucking routing number and my fucking bank number just because they can just put it in there their fucking self so just give that information out there to just anybody right <laughs> fuck dude what the fuck what the fuck? I'm not gonna sit here and give my motherfucking information to any motherfucking body. Fuck, what is wrong with people, man? You're supposed to be, you're supposed to help your customers, help the people that's that's been there banking with you all this time. Not sit here and tell them, okay, just go ahead and just give your routing number and your bank number. Random ass fucking people in the world so they can just go in there and do what the fuck they want to, right? In that case, I just should have gave it to fucking Oscar so Oscar can go and deposit money into my fucking account. Right? No. <laughs> I am not walking. Oh my god, she does not understand. I am not walking all over motherfucking New Mexico to positive motherfucker. I'll rip the motherfucker up. I'm ready. I'm 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 ready just to tell her, hey, can you can can they be able to send? Can they be able to do? Uh, uh, fucking, 
split it, split it in, in, in multiple ones to be able to do it. So, so I can go, so I can be able to take a picture with it. Fuck. Split. Dude, oh, the fuck? Split, the, split the motherfucker up. Resend it. Break it. Break it down. Break it down in multiple. Break it. Break it down in multiple and fucking do it. Why? Why? Why do you? Fucking, fucking. People. Like people don't understand, dude. Like you, like. Everybody knows there's a cap on fucking what the fuck you can do. Yes, there's ATM machines around. Yes, yes, there is ATM machines. But do you think I want to walk to every fucking ATM machine and try to de put deposit a fucking check into there? Really? So I got to walk around with my routing number and my banking number and, and my my information. And, and the check and, and walk around to different ATMs to do it to see if it works. What the fuck is this? What the fuck am I doing, man? Hey, what the fuck? Doing? Talk to a girl on the fucking phone. Talk to another girl on the fucking phone. Talk to talk to the Well Fargo girl over here. Talk to two different people in my bank that are females, and I mean it's like all females are telling me all the same shit, and the only ones not telling me the same shit is, is the same person that's still trying to get me to go to fucking go to an ATM machine, yeah, see if it works. What is this? A trial and error? Uh, you you told me it fucking work, and now you're sitting here telling me. Go and try and see if it works. And what if it don't? What if I go to the AT machine and try it at the AT machine? And if it don't work, then what is it gonna do? It's not gonna do nothing. It's gonna be worthless. It's gonna be fucking worthless. It's gonna be fucking worthless. Exactly what the fuck it's gonna be. It's gonna be worthless. She said they won't split it. Well, you tell me then, because it's gonna be a paperweight. It's gonna be it's it's gonna be worth it. Right, I'm taking a leak, enjoying the show. Hm? I, I don't know if she thinks I'm bullshitting with her or, or, or what the fuck. They don't fucking understand. Yeah, that's right. I'm taking a leak. Enjoying the show. Hm?
You got this time to sit here and text me two fucking hours. You can't answer a fucking phone. Answer the fucking phone. It'd be easier for you to answer the motherfucking phone. The fucking heart of it. What, what is so hard of it? What you gotta do is answer the goddamn phone. Let me tell you what the fuck I gotta tell you. So you can fucking understand what the fuck I'm saying. Then you can go back on your merry old fucking way of doing what the fuck you're doing. But you can understand, so you understand what the fuck I'm saying because of not understanding what the fuck I'm texting you because either you don't understand or you, you, you just think I'm stupid or wrong. I, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I, I really don't. Ah, <sighs> fucking people. Fucking hate people. I really do. <laughs> I mean, I'm sitting here telling her that no fucking banks will allow me to go inside and use the fucking ATM machine or have them transfer or deposit into my bank account, and she's still telling me to go to banks. And go to AT machine. Mm, you not fucking listen to me. What do you not understand about that fucking sentence that I typed? I called three banks and all three said they don't take checks that don't belong to them. They do not transfer, transfer, or deposit, or let you use their ATM machine. That's what I just told her. Don't have no reason to sit here and lie. I got no reason to sit here and bullshit. What is sit here and get mad if it's if it's bullshit? I don't got time for this bullshit. I mean, it's aggravating, man. It's fucking aggravating. I asked her, can they split them, split them, and, and send separate ones? No, they don't do that. Well, then I don't fucking know what the fuck you want me to do with this, because now it's just a piece of paper. Sitting there doing nothing. I don't have a bank here in fucking town to deposit there. I don't. What the fuck you want me to do? Ah! The fuck now? Oh my god, no. No, no, no. Still, go to the bank. Go to the bank. It, it will work. No, no, it won't. No, no. Yeah, that's right. I'm taking a leak. Enjoying the show. Hm? <laughs> oh, my God. Just leave me alone. Leave me the fuck alone. Leave me the fuck alone. Hmm. Oh, how many times I gotta sit here and tell you I cannot walk into any fucking body's bank and fucking deposit into anything i can't get them she just sat here and told me just go in there to the bank and see if they can put it into my bank account i just told her i can they won't do it they won't do it no transfers no deposits no using their atm machine no fucking nothing what the fuck you don't understand the fuck do you don't understand? I just told you. The fuck? Is is women that fucking ignorant? Do they not fucking understand anything? Do they not? Do they, do they not fucking understand? I just sat here and told her in a fucking text message. I called three banks and all three banks said I cannot use their ATM machine. I cannot use, cannot get them to transfer money, this money from them into mine, nor can I do a deposit from 
from there to mine. I just told her that. What did she just tell me? Go try it anyways. No! Not! Gonna do it! Not! No! Fuck no! Not! Try to, I'm trying to be nice. Fucking getting fed up with people, dude. I really am getting fed up with people. I'm fucking getting fed up with fucking people. What the fuck these people don't understand? What, what, do, what do women not understand the concept of me telling them no? They do not accept another check from other fucking shit. It is not my bank. They won't work with me. Fuck do you not understand? What do you, what do people, what do people not understand, man? What do they fucking not understand? Fuck! Well, Fargo. Fuck! Fucking don't understand. You want you want to call them yourself? Go ahead. Call them yourself and find out. Call them your goddamn self. <laughs> call them your motherfucking self. And when they sit up in here and tell you the same thing I'm telling you, then you fucking figure the fuck out. You, you figure the fuck out. Because I'm getting fucking pissed. Really, I'm getting fucking angry. No, it's not doing it. No. I knew it was just going to be this fucking... Why is everything the fuck I try to do is always a fucking hassle? Why? Why is it a hassle for me to do anything? Why is it a fucking hassle for fucking people to not understand simple shit? Fucking aggravating, man. Straight up goddamn fucking aggravating. Straight the fucking aggravating. People don't understand, man. It's it's simple. What do you what do you, what what fucking language are you speak? I called three banks and asked, can I come in and deposit the check into my bank using their bank to transfer? Can I use your ATM machine to tr to to deposit this check? They say no, we cannot. We do not accept, we do not accept people do not, that you do not use our bank. Mm. Fuck. How much more, how much more do I need to sit here and explain? Like really, how, how much, how much more do I need to explain? How much more? How much more do I need to explain? Really, how, how much more do I need to explain that... They're, they're not, it's not going. Why is this cock sucking motherfucker? All these other ones. Can you do a simple fucking job and get one fucking pallet out, bitch? Can you? God damn, man. Get one fucking pallet out before you go fucking with other pallets. Can you, you dumb fucking piece of shit? Evidently. Ignorant. I mean, it's aggravating. It really is. It's aggravating as fuck. I mean, I said here. What the fuck? You just asked me what banks was. Look, look, listen, listen to this goddamn. Listen to this shit. Listen to this shit. She asked me what banks is around me. I said, Wells Fargo. 
I called them. She says, listen, follow my instructions, okay? Then she goes, is Wells Fargo close by? You just asked me what banks are by. Didn't, that's what she asked me, right? She asked me what banks are by me, right? What banks are around my area, right? That's what she asked, right? And what did I say? Wells Fargo, right? Right? So why is she asking me, is Wells Fargo by you? I just fucking told you Wells Fargo's by me. Why would you ask me the same fucking thing? You, you see what the fuck I'm saying? Like, either it's incompetent or, 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 or just... <clears throat> fucking aggravating. Like, goddamn, do you not fucking understand what the fuck I'm texting? That's the reason why I don't text. I hate texting. I fucking hate texting. I, I really do. I fucking hate texting because nobody understands. They don't, they don't understand, they don't fucking understand, simple, simple, you tell me to listen, but you can't listen to what the fuck I text you, you ask me what banks around me, I tell you what banks around me, and then you ask me the bank, the same bank I told you that was around me, like what the fuck, what was the purpose of me telling you, if you just gonna ask me the same shit that I just fucking told you, like, I, I must be the fucking stupidest motherfucker in the world. So fucking women are so stupid. Women call men stupid. God damn, I'm not stupid. I am not stupid. I'm giving you what the fuck you ask, and I'm, I'm trying, to, trying to tell you what the fuck they say. You're not understanding. Still, take the check and and your debit card to the. A <laughs> oh my god, no. And. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Like I'm fucking stupid. Just no, I'm just no stupid motherfucking. <laughs> I'm. I swear to God, where. Where do they make people nowadays? I I understand she's years younger younger than me. God damn. <laughs> Fuck it. It's already five o'clock. I've been doing this. <laughs> I've been doing this shit since three. I've been doing this since three. We're not getting anywhere. Any motherfucking where? Anywhere. I get nowhere. I'm just I feel like I'm talking to Oscar. <laughs> I feel like I'm talking to Oscar. Like no bullshit. I feel like I'm just running around. My fucking head cut off. You can sit here and text me, but you can't sit here and phone. The call so you can fuck them. I don't know. You can sit here and text me. You can sit here and text me for two hours, two and a half hours. Not answer the phone so I can be able to explain it to you. Simpler on the phone, which will be a lot fucking easier than trying to explain it to you. And your excuse is I'm at work. Oh, <laughs> well, you at work, but you sitting here texting. Go to work. Go to work. Go, go, go to fucking work. Go to fucking work. Please, I'm begging you. Just go to work. But we'll, but we'll discuss this. We'll discuss this when I I'm nice and calm and fucking possibly high off my fucking ass. We're not getting no.
Well, I'm not good. <laughs> like, didn't know. Beat my fucking head. Fuck, I'm doing. Give me my fucking head. Fucking. <laughs> I feel like I'm. That's what I feel like I'm doing. I feel like I'm beating my fucking head against the wall. Italy over and over. Like no bullshit. What do I. Why do I pick these? Motherfucking people. Like, what the fuck is it with me in picking the dumbest people in the world, man? I picked my ex-wife, and look what happened with that. I picked my my, my I picked my ex-girlfriend, and look what happened to that. I picked the girl that's tatted on my goddamn fingers, and look what happened in that relationship. I picked to, to try to date Oscar, look what that happened. I tried to pick to date this one, and look where this is fucking going. Round and round and round and round and round. Just put me on a fucking merry-go-round. <sighs> Just put me on a merry-go-round and this slap me with stupid on the fucking forehead, please. And slap me in the head with a fucking please, please. Slap me with stupid on the. Forehead. Put a big old stamp on my forehead saying, Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Please. That's what the fuck I feel. And I'm trying to be nice. I'm, I'm, I mean, I understand she's trying to help. But telling me, go to, telling me to go to a fucking ATM machine. At fucking five o'clock in the afternoon, people go to ATM machines at five o'clock in the afternoon for the desperate motherfuckers that want to get robbed. Okay, do I do I look like I want to get robbed? Really, do I? Do do I look like I I want to get? Do do I want to go upstairs and get dressed so I can walk to an ATM machine, find out it's not going to work at that ATM machine because? Not gonna, or or or, or do do I want to get dressed and walk around the city for the next fucking five hours, which everything's closed, everything's closed. Hmm. I should hmm. video on how. Oh my! Please don't. Please don't. I please don't. No. She's not understanding that people here in New Mexico are stupid, okay? I understand she's from California, and Californians, you know, are not stupid. But I live in a state that the, 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 the education in New Mexico, we're 94th in education. Which is the highest on the education level of stupid. Beyond stupid. Okay? Like beyond stupid. Like no bullshit. You got you got rank one, which is the smartest motherfucking city or state. Then then you got rank two through one through through a hundred. And and New Mexico is ninety fourth in education. That means ninety ninety percent of people that are born and raised in New Mexico are illiterate, stupid, can't read, can't spell, can't write, and and possibly possibly can't even read on a fifth grade fucking reading level. So please, I'm from Texas. I, I'm from Texas. Texas is not motherfucking any fucking where the fuck around 90s or 80s or fucking 70s. Any fucking where. I, I, I know that for a fact. Education in Texas is a lot smarter 
than motherfuckers in state of New Mexico. <laughs> you can bet on that shit. Fucking New Mexico is the worst fucking state to raise raise children. Like no bullshit. This <laughs> is this is the worst fucking state to come over here. Like no bullshit. Do not want to go and have children in the state of New Mexico and then send them off to school thinking they're gonna learn how to read. These motherfuckers here in the state of New Mexico still in college in in, in the new Me in in the new mexico state new mexico college which is the unm and the cnm college and brown and brown mackey college in the state of new mexico still gives out algebra one through four geometry one through four in texas in Texas, in Toloso Midway Middle School, where I went to school at, in in Texas, in fucking seventh grade, sixth grade, I had learned fucking geometry one through four, and algebra one through four. Okay, that's when I was in school. I'm 37 fucking years old. And these motherfuckers in the state of New Mexico is teaching shit that I learned in fucking sixth grade. That ought to tell you where the fucking education level is. <laughs> that ought to tell you the education level in the state of New Mexico. Fucking illiterate, stupid motherfucker. Like no bullshit. Like, no fucking bullshit. They're stupid. They're fucking stupid. They're fucking illiterate. They can't fucking... They, they can't spell, no read, no write, no nothing. She actually sent me a fuck. <laughs> I do, man. <laughs> they fuck. Take my stuff. <laughs> they really fuck. <laughs> really fucking. Take my stuff. <laughs> I really fucking do. <laughs> Literally shits me. <laughs> <laughs> And I sent her a message telling you, thank you. I really feel dumb. Thank you. What did she just say? Don't feel that way. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> oh, shit. I lose my shit. <laughs> I'm about to fucking lose it. I'm about to lose it. <laughs> oh shit. Then she sends me a message. You you are smarter than a lot of other people. Don't feel that way. Don't don't encourage me to feel more stupid, please don't. <laughs> don't 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 <laughs> Oh my god, I'm about to fucking whip me up a fucking blunt hair and <laughs> fucking get toasted. <laughs> fucking fucking women. <laughs> fucking women. 
<laughs> oh shit. Yeah, that's right. I'm taking a leap. Joining the show. <laughs> Watch the same video over six times now. <laughs> I'm going I'm going to send their picture of me dressed like this and see and and, and ask her am I ready to <laughs> She doesn't need a real <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> she doesn't really. Yeah, that's right. I'm taking a leak. Enjoying the show. Hm? Oh my gosh, you can't stop dick. <laughs> he actually sent me a he actually sent me a one minute and 25 second video of how to go to the ATM machine and put the motherfucker in the goddamn A machine ATM machine <laughs> fucking my god <laughs> take my stuff take my stuff Whoa. Clothing. Take my stuff. Take my stuff. <laughs> maybe maybe some fresh air. You know you know you, you know what you know what I I found in my mailbox? You know what I you, you know what I found in my my mailbox? Okay. Okay, so so you guys you guys remember you guys remember I, I went I, I went to to put the paperwork in for the food stamp off, right? I got dressed and everything and went to the food stamp office or went to the to the post office and got a stamp and all that shit and put the the the, 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 the paperwork in the envelope and everything into the Post office, right? Okay, so after I got done dealing with my phone, transferring all the shit from one phone to another phone, I put it in the little package thing and, and, and put the little sticker thing on there. Took it and put it in the mailbox for outgoing, right? Where it's supposed to go. Okay. 
I went to go check my mail this morning. No, last night. I went to go check my mail last night at, at 10 o'clock at night, right? When it's starting to rain and shit. I went to go check it real quick. I opened up my fucking mailbox to my phone that I put in the mailbox for outgoing in the fucking mailbox saying this is for UPS. You know what I did? <laughs> you know what I did? I said no, 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 no. I, I, I walked to the fucking post office and put it in the fucking post office mailbox over there at the fucking post office at fucking 10 o'clock last night talking to myself mad as a motherfucker because they were supposed to send it back to the fucking phone company instead they put it back in my fucking mailbox and written it this is for UPS hmm. now my question is my question is is the post office going to take it and put it back in my mailbox? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, 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 <laughs> is the post office going to put it back into my mailbox and tell me this is for UPS? As well? <laughs> because I, I, I'm not going to go to UPS. I'm not, 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 I'm not, I'm just, I'm just not going, not going to, UPS is goddamn fucking, fucking miles, I'm not going to walk to the goddamn UPS and just drop off the phone fucking job they state that you can put it in the package put the fucking tag on it and put it in the fucking outgoing and fucking you send it off that's what they fuck they stated right no they go and put it back in my mailbox tell me how it's for you people i'm not going to i don't i, I you know what i don't fucking understand about these fucking people in the united states this is, this is this is the prime fucking example, motherfuckers. Okay? It is not my job to fucking do other people's job. You get hired to do paperwork in the food stamp office. That is your job, not mine. My job is to fill out the fucking papers and to send it back to you. Now, if you lose it, or lost it, or fucking threw it in the trash for some fucking reason, then that's not my fucking deal. And the crazy thing about it is I called them, the food stamp office, on the 19th, and let them know while I was at the post office that I'm there buying a stamp and envelope, and I'm sending the paperwork off to them. It's coming straight from the post office. They told me, oh, don't worry about it, Mr. Brown. Your food stamps is not going to be taken from me. You don't have to worry about nothing. Well, 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 I do have to worry about something because today is what? Today is, today is the fucking 18th, right? I was supposed to get my groceries on the 16th, right? Well... Get no groceries, so did I get my food stamps? No. Why? Because they took them from me. Because they said they didn't get the fucking paperwork. What the fuck they do with the paperwork? I don't know. I don't have a clue what they do with the fucking paperwork. They could have rolled it up and smoked it all I fucking. Did. But I mean, the the fact of it is, is they don't have the fucking paperwork. But but I've made I've made plenty of videos on this already. Where I've came on here and said that I've called them this day, called them this day, and called them this day, and they all told me that it was there before they transferred me, and I stuck on line, stuck on hold for five fucking hours. Come to find out, they don't even have my paperwork. This lady that I talked to, uh, uh, um, uh, uh, Friday, 
informed me that there's no paperwork in the system or in the mailroom or any fucking where else for me or on me with my fucking information. So where the fuck did my goddamn fucking paperwork? Where did it go? Do you know what I mean? Like where did where did it go? Did somebody just magically roll the motherfucker up and say, "Okay, we're gonna smoke this today," because we want to smoke everybody else's fucking. Shit. You know what I mean? Like it is what is that what happened? You know what I mean? Is that what happened? Did 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 they take it out of the fucking post office box, open it up and and roll it up and and smoke the motherfucker? You know what I mean? Because the food stamp office state that they don't have it. Now, <clears throat> the the lady lady on the goddamn phone. The lady on the goddamn phone wanted me to wanted me to uh wanted me to go uh and 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 do everything online. Well, my main concern is yes, I can go online and I can fill the shit out online, and it'd probably be easier. For them to do but it's not but it's not my job for them you know what I mean it's not my job to do their fucking job for them. you know what I mean and, and the and the problem and the problem of it is is that I told them that I don't want to do it online come to find out come to find out because I, I talked to my mom my mom informed me that all paperwork that you send to the Social Security office or the food stamp office or, or whatever they put it onto a computer that goes on to online and then that's how everything is budget out that's how everything is sorted out is everything is already on so when people sit here and say well they don't want to get hacked into they don't want this information known or that information known or or, or they don't want their social security number out there or this or that. Well, don't go to the food stamp office or don't go to the social security office. Because evidently they put that shit online when they do your paperwork. I didn't know that. I, I, I didn't, I personally did not know that. So all these people in the world it is capable of getting anyone's information from the food stamp office or the social security office because the social security office and the food stamp office both put your fucking information out there for people to get to it's not secure so if you get spam emails and junk mails and this and this and this and people calling you and this and this and that that's the reason why is because the social security office and stamp office tells you to keep your shit private and secure but they go out and put your shit on fucking line and they wonder why motherfuckers get their shit taken from That doesn't taste like root beer. <laughs> yeah, that does not taste like root beer. That's what it is, is root beer. Made with cane sugar. I mean it was only it was only a dollar ninety something for six of these. Supposed to be root beer. Supposed to be root beer. I wished it was I mean, a hundred and eighty calories. Take my stuff. Huh. Take my stuff. One hundred and eighty calories.
Oh, I don't know. I just get real lately. I just got uh, fucking hate. Take my stuff. <laughs> so lately, I just think. Take my stuff. Yelled at my mom. I yelled at my mom on the phone. Told her to fuck this government. <laughs> my mom was like, "Well, your brother and sister serve this government, and you got two brothers currently serving this government, and you got aunts and uncles serve this government." I said, yeah, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah, I, I just, I, I don't know, I just, I don't know, I, I don't know, real lately I just got real, I, I, I've been in a bad fucking act. Things have just triggered me. Video games are, are triggering me to get pissed off. Phone calls are triggering me to. <laughs> texting people are <laughs> triggering me to get pissed off. It's like, it's like everything I do, lately, it's triggered me. It, it's just fucking, it's very aggravating. I, I don't know what it is. I don't know. I don't know if it's if it's not having sugar every day, or if it's not having candy every day, or 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 yeah, not enough right. sleep, or, or Enjoy it in the show. Hm? communication with people are just not there anymore. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I, I really don't fucking know. I mean, it's just not video games or text messaging or, or, or trying to chat. Yeah, I mean, right. I, I want to chat with females and, 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 and be able to date females, but god damn, they just. They just. I don't know. Ignorant. They're ignorant. And then I go and watch a bunch of TikTok videos and. and only reason why I'm on TikTok is because I like to watch the funny videos. You know what I mean? The stupid funny videos that are, people are stupid, doing stupid shit, and, and, and shit like that. that. That's the only reason why I'm on TikTok. You know? But, I mean, I, I can't go, I can't go on my Facebook. Look, check it out. I can't go on my Facebook without seeing any of the fucking WWE wrestlers yeah, on my right. fucking page like I, I scroll down I scroll down and all I see is WWE Oscar uh, EO Sky Triple H fucking uh, Cody Rhodes uh, Blanca Blair there like all the fucking wrestlers I, I scroll down I refresh the page and try to get something else on there Fuck, I even try to just jump on anything on my phone so it can just, you know, go onto my Facebook so it can just push out. Like, I've even gone on the on there and, and fucking uh, don't want to see for 30 days. <laughs> like, that's, that's how irritating it is to go on your fucking Facebook every day and see nothing but fucking WWE superstars either... In their bikinis or in their fucking uh, clothes that they wear on, you know, when they go out to WWE, or they're they're posing for this or they're posing for that, or or they're hugging this person or hugging that person, or they're doing this. Or they're, like I just go on there. Um, I don't want to see for thirty motherfucking days, thirty days, thirty days, thirty days. Fucking go all on all of them. Like literally, I just go on there on all of the fucking WWE shit. I don't want to see it no more. I really don't. I don't. I don't want to see. It. Like my my fucking Facebook is nothing but WWE shit. And frankly, I'm tired of seeing it. It's just fucking. I, I don't even want to get on my Facebook. <laughs> I, I don't. Like I, I'm not on Facebook like that anyways. I mean, I go on Facebook. I scroll through shit. You know what I mean? See what's going on, whatever, and I jump off. 
I don't go on there messaging nobody. I don't go on there talking to nobody. I don't go on there commenting nobody. I don't go on there and say shit to nobody. I just and I just do what I do and I, and I and I get off. And 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 it and it's aggravating. It's aggravating because that's all the fuck I see on my goddamn page. Fucking. It's very aggravating. I jump on the TikTok and watch TikTok videos. Grows through TikTok. Like, I, like, be honest, be honest, I'm on TikTok and I'm scrolling through shit. You know what I mean? Like, I, I look at shit, I scroll through it. If it's funny, I watch it. If it's not, I just keep scrolling because all that's on there is fucking women nagging about, well, why don't men want to date women nowadays? Well, why don't men want. Bitch! Grow the fuck up. We are not your motherfucking sugar daddies. We is not your motherfucking daddy. We are not supposed to take care of you. Get your fucking job. You want you you you, you want a man that wants to be with you. You get a man that's gonna be with you. You, not for your fucking money. Not for your fucking vagina. Not for the fucking clothes you wear. You know what I mean? Ninety percent of men, all they look at when they look at a woman is. Their fucking tits, ass, and their fucking vagina. And that ain't no bullshit. Then they're like, oh, well, I like to get between those thighs. Yeah, that's, that's I mean, that's all they fucking think about. I mean, I'm a man. I, I mean, I like, I like looking at vaginas and tits too, but goddamn, I don't sit there and say, you know, think about it all fucking day. You know what I mean? I, I don't think about it all fucking day. I got other shit in this life I wanna I, I wanna do and, and think about. You know? It's like it's like speaking it's like it's like speaking to a girl trying to introduce yourself to a girl and ask the girl what favorite food See, I'm a basic motherfucker. You know what I mean? I was I was raised I was raised to to ask basic questions. You know what I mean? And the basic questions is how old are you? What's your name? What's your favorite color? What's your favorite food? What favorite TV shows you like? What favorite movies you like? What favorite music you like? What do you dislike or like about relationships? What do you see yourself in in five years down the road type of shit? Do you want kids or do you not want kids? You know, that's the fucking questions I ask a woman. You know, because me personally, I ain't got time for, oh, oh, I I'm just here to see your fucking tits or I, I, I'm not, I'm not here for that. If, if I want that, I can go jump on any website and, and pull any chick in the world that I want and bring them over and fuck them all fucking day. I have no problem doing it. I'm not an ugly motherfucker. You know what I mean? I'm not an ugly motherfucker. I'm not a fat motherfucker. I weigh 200. I weigh 245 fucking pounds. I weigh. I, I'm 5'10. Built like a motherfucking linebacker, and, and, and look hot as a motherfucker. I, I may be 37 years old, but goddamn women, women, when they look at my pictures and and look at me, they sit up in here and say, "You look young as fuck." Until I tell them my age and they're like, wow, you look like you're still in your 20s. Yeah, I know. I ain't got pimples all over my face. I ain't got motherfucking hair growing out of every motherfucking wear. I'm not a dirty motherfucker. I take a shower every motherfucking day. Either I'm going somewhere or I'm not going somewhere. I take a shower every fucking day. You know what I mean? Women don't want no dirty motherfucker. Women don't want no stinky, stinky motherfucker. Women don't want no lazy son of a bitch. You know what I mean? They 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 want a man. They want a man that's going to cook and clean and and, and do shit instead of do absolutely nothing all day. 
I clean every day. I don't have no problem with it. I like to clean. People who don't even realize it. Like, women don't even give me the fucking time of day. Like, 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 like Oscar, like, like Oscar, I had, I mean, you know what I mean? I know she's 40, 41 years old. I mean, you got Bailey that's three years younger than me. And you got Oscar that's three years older than me. So, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, shit. Age, age isn't really a matter to me, but they got to be, I, I, I don't like fucking with younger than me. Really. I give them a chance, but I mean, I, I, I got to see identification. I, I got to see identification proof that you're over the age of 18. Well, I'm sticking my dick in anything. <laughs> and that's just real. That's just real talk. That's just how I am. I'm real cheap. I'm I'm a, I'm a cheap motherfucker. I, I'm a cheap motherfucker. If we don't have to go to no expensive ass place, and you're okay with motherfucking McDonald's or fucking Waterburger, you know what I mean. I, I'm cool with it. If you're cool with it, you know, it, it, you you know what I mean. If you want to sit around and and you're fucking and your sweatpants and watch a movie on, on TV, you know, and and shit. I, I'm cool with that shit too. You know what I mean? I'm not a difficult motherfucker. I really not. I'm not. I'm not a difficult son of a bitch. I, I just, me personally, me personally, you know what I mean? I, I just hate it when women sit here and tell you, tell you, you know, oh, they care about you. Oh, they they want to be with you. You know what I mean? Can't ask them to do a simple thing. No, they can't. They can't do a simple thing, but they expect you to do that simple. Thing. See, women got a lot of shit twisted. You know, women got a lot of shit. They they got their rights to do whatever the fuck they want to do. You know what I mean? And and. And, and and if you look at it, check if you if you check it out if if you really look at it, women women that do streaming can make more money with streaming and, and everything because there's men out there that sit there like a bunch of simp's. You don't know what simp's are. Simp's are people that are are, are too fucking lazy to um. I think my game just crashed. Yep. Crashed. Sims but anyways, Sims are are are, are the people that can't get any pussy. Can't get any. this this shit right here keeps popping up. I, I don't know what why why that shit keeps popping up. It's popped up, popped up um, four times today. I, 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 I don't know why, but anyways, I don't know what the fuck is wrong with this one, but uh. She's asking me, did I leave? <laughs> She's asking me if I left. I haven't. I've been right here. I've been right. The <laughs> I did not go. That's, that's what she's going to ask me. She's going to ask me. Yeah, that's what she's going to ask me. If I left you. Yeah. That's 
<laughs> Where are you at? <laughs> Told you. <laughs> Told you. I already knew. She's supposed to be at work. Tell you. Well, I guess I better go use the restroom. Rest, I guess. She ain't gonna. She ain't gonna quit. She's not gonna quit. <laughs> I need to use it right now. Waiting for this one. Some reason, some reason, this one, th this game keeps doing that. It it it, it closed out on me uh, a few times. It's already closed out on me yesterday. Closed out on me time that I don't know if it's just that game. That game's the only one that I see that's doing it. I haven't seen any other game. Any other game do it to me. That's the that's the only. <laughs> Done it to me. I I need to use it. Get off of here. Get dressed. Six o'clock. What time? I guess I'll go give it a shot. Cause stupid. <laughs> Evidently, I'm. Stupid. There's nothing wrong with the whale. I think it was something with. I don't know if it's fixed. I haven't been back on it. Yeah, I don't. I haven't been back on the ATS yet. Let me let me go try to get this shit done before I blow my fucking brains out. <laughs> there she is again. There she is again. <laughs> I gotta use the restroom. <laughs> I, I'll I'll be back on later on. Let me let me go get this shit done. I gotta use the.